All right, let's see. She says it's 4-3. Let's find out. Um, here we go. X, X minus 4. X minus 3. You got to be able to factor. X equals 4. X equals 3 is your final answer. Okay. Again, you'd set each of these equal to 0. You set this equal to 0. Then you set this equal to 0. You get x equals 4 and x equals 3. Okay. Now, how about this one? When you factored it, what did you get? When you factored it, what did you get? Emmanuel, go ahead. Three x plus two, and x minus three. Anybody else get that? Good. Hopefully everybody did. And then what'd you get? Um, the answer uh, is x equals negative two thirds, and x equals three. Nice. Three x plus two is equal to zero. X minus three is equal to zero. X equals three. 3x equals negative 2. Divide by 3, divide by 3. x equals negative 2 thirds. Okay. Now, if it's not set equal to 0, you have to set it equal to 0. Does everybody understand that? If it's not set equal to 0, then you have to set it equal to zero yourself. So be careful here. So the first step is to do this. Subtract x squared, subtract 2x, add 7. Subtract x squared, subtract 2x, add 7. You'll get x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to zero. What happened? You have to have it set equal to zero. Why? Because if it's not set equal to zero, you can't do you can't factor and set it equal to zero. X minus five, x minus two is equal to zero. You'd set each piece equal to zero. You'll get x equals five and x equals two. Any questions on that? All righty now. For those of you that got done, you had a problem that you could have worked on. 4x cubed minus 8x squared minus 9x plus 18 was equal to 0. Again, this was only if you got done. I said you could have something to work on. So we're going to take out a 4x squared. We're going to be left with x minus 2. Minus 9. x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. Now the x minus 2 is common to both. So we're going to take the x minus 2 out. We're going to be left with 4x squared minus 9. We're going to get x minus 2, 2x plus 3, 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. And now what do I do? Set each one of those equal to 0. So you'll say x minus 2 is equal to 0, 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. x equals 2. 2x equals negative 3. x equals negative 3 halves. 2x equals 3. x equals 3 halves. Okay. Any questions on that? Going once. 
twice. Which one was that? Yeah, for this one, what you want to do is can you, you have to bring this over, bring this over, and bring this over so you can get it set equal to zero over here. Okay? And then you have to factor. You see, what happens to a lot of people is that they forget you have to set equal to zero, so they just try to start factoring right away. And that's not necessarily the case. Okay. Then you just put it over by itself, it'd be minus 2x. Good question. Um, for those of you at home that didn't hear the question, the question was, what if there was no 5x? What if there was nothing for the 2x to subtract from? And the answer is you would just put minus 2x then. Okay. All right, bonus time. Uh, press pause. First thing you want to do, distribute. 3x squared minus 9x minus 2x plus 9, or excuse me, plus 6. Three x squared minus 11x plus 6 equals 6. When you subtract 6, you'll get 3x squared minus 11x equals 0. What's common to both? The x is common to both. One thing I see a lot of people do, because it's 3x squared, I see a lot of people who will go like this. You forgot the golden rule of factoring. The golden rule is to always take out the greatest common factor first. X, 3X minus 11 equals 0. Set each piece equal to 0. X is 0 or X is... Okay. So tomorrow it will be a Chris there. 